Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Coach Beyond Talk. Today in this video, I am going to discuss question which was asked in the IBS software coding round. So I have collected few questions and I will be discussing it. So stay tuned, watch the video till end. So let me start with the first questions. The first question which I have here which was asked in the coding round is code decode where the question says that you have a intercepted a secret message encoded as a string of numbers and the message is decoded by a following mapping which is given in my slide. So one is mapped to A, two is mapped to B and so on. So 26 is mapped to Z. And the problem is asking that uh, given a string S containing only digits then you have to return the number of ways to decode it. If the entire string cannot be decoded in any valid ways then you have to return the zero. So this was the question which was asked. If you want me to make video on the solution of this problem let me know in the comment section. I can make video on that as well. Let's move on to the next question. So, the next question is maximum product summary. So, what is the problem? Here is like you are given an integer array nums and you have to find the sub array that has the largest product and return the product. So, here you can see that I have taken input nums where we have 2, 3, minus 2 and 4 and the output is 6. In explanation, I have also given that how it will be 6. So, 2, 3 has the largest product which is 6. So, the answer is 6. Next question is row with maximum 1s. So, you are given a m cross n binary matrix and find the zero indexed position of the row that has contains the maximum count of 1s and the number of 1s in that row. So in case there are multiple rows that have the maximum count of 1s, the row with the smallest row number should be selected. Then return an array containing the index of the row and the number of 1s in it. So here the input matrix you can see that we have 0 0 0 and 0 1 1 and the output is 1 comma 2. So as per given problem here, the 1 is in representing the row and second is which is 2 in the output matrix returning the number of 1's in that row. So you, in the given matrix the row number 1 which has number of 1 is equal to 2 so the output is 1 comma 2. And the next question is saddle point. So find the saddle point in a given matrix. So what is saddle point first? So an element is called the saddle point that is the minimum or a smallest element in the row and maximum element in the column wise. So you have to write the code to find the number in the given matrix which is minimum in the row and maximum in the column. So in the given example where I have taken this matrix integer matrix 2D integer matrix you see the first row it has 1, 2, 3, second row it is 4, 5, 6 and third is 7, 8, 9. So output is 7 which is here which if you see in 2D array this is minimum in the row but maximum in the column. So the output is 7. And the next question is common element in sorted array. So here you will be given a 3 sorted array and you have to write the solution which should give you the common element from all the sorted array. So these are the easy problems. Uh, just need practice in order to solve this. And last problem is find the peak element. So a peak element is an element that is strictly greater than its neighbor. So given a zero index integer array nums, find the peak element and return its index. So you are given a number like integer number which is you can see in the input is 1 2 3 1 and the output is 2 so in the output you have to return the index of that number which is peak in the given array so 3 is the peak element and your function should return the index 
number which is 2 so if you see that in the input is 3 which is at index 2 so that's the reason output is 2 because you have to return the index not the number so these were the few questions which was asked in the coding round and if you want me to make video on the solution of this problem let me know in the comment section i can make the video for the solution as well if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it because i keep uploading video about the interview process and the coding questions if you liked my video don't forget to like and comment i'll see you in the next video thank you